Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am the Budgeting Esthetician and today I'm going to be doing a big video. Um, this is going to include a lot of things. It's just going to be my normal end of the month unstuffing plus condensing and sinking funds update video. Uh, but I do also want to go over with you guys kind of a monthly recap. Um, just because I started the month by showing you my monthly budget, I want to kind of just compare and see what our budget for the month actually ended up being because um, as I kind of told you guys in that video and if you've been watching my videos for a little bit you would know that I do have a variable income so it's not always you know dependable or predictable what exactly my income is going to be so I think it is going to be kind of fun to maybe go over with you guys what it actually ended up being um, and how you can kind of make sure at the end of each month that your numbers are adding up on everything and um, everything like that. I think it kind of goes hand in hand in a way to like unstuffing and making sure your budget is square that way as well. So I'm going to add that on to this video, but it might not be a monthly thing. I don't know. We'll see how you guys kind of feel about it and how much time it potentially adds to the video as well because these videos tend to already be on the longer side. So I already did the math and we'll start by unstuffing of course and what we should be unstuffing today should be a thousand and seventy five dollars but at the end of our condensing um, we should have a thousand five hundred and seventy five dollars because we're gonna have to be using this five hundred dollar placeholder in our sinking funds but for now I'm gonna move that over there during the unstuffing and we will just go ahead and get into it by the way to make my usual beginning disclaimer. I am a cashless cash stuffer, so every bill you see um, in this video is a prop bill. And it is either in my um, checking account or my high yield savings account. All right, so we'll start by unstuffing our fixed expenses or our bills essentially here. Um, so today here on our bills tracker, I'm going to cross off our last ones of the month. So we'll be pulling um, for my gym membership that comes out on the 17th, iCloud storage, my rent that I pay to the family I live with, and then my health insurance premium also came out at the end of the month. So from housing is where I keep my rent and that should be 300, 1, 2, 50, 300 which I actually talked about with my family and we are going to be raising that to 400 next month. So that will be going up here shortly. And then from insurance, we need to pull my health insurance premium out of here, which is currently, oh, and let me here cross off everything as we go. So that was 300 there. And then we'll do this 297 here. So one, 250, 70, 90, 95, 97. Oh, and there we go. And now insurance, we have 20, 35, seven and eight left in there. All right, the next thing we have to pull is from memberships. So skipping back to that, um, my, like I said, gem membership to Planet Fitness came out, which is $10, so um, I guess we will just pull that into fives here. So that is how we stuff it, and then cross that off here, and we still have 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 87, and 89 in here. And subscriptions is getting a dollar taken out of it for my iCloud storage. It's 99 cents, but I just counted as a dollar there. We still have 5, 10, 12, and 14 in subscriptions. All right, moving back to my variable expenses. Um, gas, we budgeted 25 and we spent 29.93. Uh, we're just going to pull out the 25 for now, and I'll show you here in a minute how. I ended up working these numbers out. What I tend to do is just add together all my transactions, as you can probably see, and um, I add together all the trans, like my totals for gas, groceries, and spending, all my variable expenses, 
and use them to try to kind of equal themselves out, if that makes sense. So um, groceries had 200, I spent 190.55, so I had a little bit of overage in that one. And then spending, I budgeted 100 and spent 183. So almost right on the money there for that. So um, again, I was negative um, $4.93 in gas and negative 83 cents in spending, but I underspent in groceries by $9.45, which left me with $3.69. But as you'll see here, we actually will bring that up with some money um, from our sinking funds here in a second. Um, but yes, this money down here will eventually go into my um, savings challenge, actually, which we'll discuss here in a minute. So that is it for my expenses. We will now unstuff anything from my sinking funds, which I think, yes, it's just in my short-term sinking funds binder. All right, and I just spent out of two categories in here from giving, oops, whoa, from giving, um, I bought a belated Christmas gift for my niece because we finally were able to get together like at the end of January here. So that was $27.76. So we are going to just pull 30 and the $2.24 um, is technically going to my cushion or well, to my savings challenge actually this week. So we have to pull 30. We have 70. So that would leave me with, no, we have 90. So that would leave me with 60. So I guess I will put, let's put a 50 down and take another 20 maybe. 20, 40, 60, we're gonna come back and condense this anyways here, but I currently don't have a 10 anyways. So, and then back all the way to Pamper here. Um, I got a massage, of course, those of you who've been watching me know I get regular massages. So um, that was 117.50. And then we're gonna, again, just pull out 120. So that $2.50 there is also gonna go to essentially rollover that is gonna this week go to my savings challenge. So I'm just gonna pull out a 100 and a 20. And again, we'll condense this later. But now it still has 152, 25, and 30, 230, and pamper. All right, so that should conclude our unstuffing for today. So what I'm gonna go do now is put this $8 into my $500 savings challenge here. And I'm just gonna round that down to eight. I know it's $8.43, um, but yeah, I just tend to round my numbers. So we are gonna cross off an eight here and I'm gonna do this one right over here. And then we will add a five, a two, and a one into my savings envelope right here. And then again, we will condense this here in a minute. But now my savings envelope has 10, 25, 35, 37, 39, 41, 43, 44, 5, and 6. 46 in my savings challenge, which is fabulous because that is over my goal for the month. My goal is technically only 40 a month. I mean, Really, it's a little bit more than that, but so I'm going to count this cash up here with these bills and make sure this is the $1,075 that it should be. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred, fifty nine, fifty one thousand, twenty, forty, sixty five, seventy five, a thousand, seventy five. Perfect. That is exactly what we wanted. So we will now move on to the condensing and sinking funds update. All right, and we will go right back into our expenses and savings binder. Fix that, by the way. And we will pass by all of our expenses and go straight to our savings. So ahead 
had 1500 at the end of last month that's still exactly what it has so there's no change there cushion cushion where is that had 551 at the end of last month it's now down to its goal of 500 so that is negative 51 but again from here on out what we'll probably do is put instead of leaving anything in cushion we will just put it into my savings challenge I think is what I'm doing okay onto rainy day which we are doing the savings challenge right up here for we ended with zero right yes that is the right line so we ended last month with zero in here because we are rebuilding this this year and we are ending with 152 50 70 95 and 300 300 dollars in here so um i'll leave that 100 and this is 200 right here so one two and 300 still in rainy day so that is a positive 300 for the month so exciting all right moving back to the savings here that ended last month with zero as well because again we're starting this for january for 2024 so yeah we already counted this but i'll count it again 10 25 30 5 37 39 41 3 4 5 and 6 so 46 now in there which is a positive 46 as well since that started from zero so we will keep a five a one and then this is 40 right here so we'll put all that down for two 20s Twenty, forty, five, and six still in savings here. All right, great. So that is this binder done. Now to the biggest kind of condensings here, which are going to be in my sinking funds binders. So starting in long term, annual bills started the month with zero because we just started stuffing it and that now has 10 so that is again positive 10 there and these two fives I'm just gonna go down for 10 business went down because we had that 375 in there which we used last paycheck if you have seen that stuffing video um, so it now has 10 as well which is unfortunately a negative $365 in there and then we're gonna just grab a 10 but we used it to stuff other other goals so all right car car started with 2,000 and now has 1,000 2,000 10 and 20 so that is just a positive 20 there and we'll just put down these two tens for a 20 it now has the same 2020 in there. All right, home. This is going to be a big, a big one. We still have a thousand fully condensed in essentials, but furniture is going to get a big condensing here. So um, we started with just that plain 1000. And now we are ending the month with 1,050, 152, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 3, 5, 10, and 15. 1,315, which is just a positive 315 there. So I'll keep a 10 and a 5. And then this should be 300. 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95, 300, yes. So is all going down for three or four yes three hundreds one two three okay and one two three ten and fifteen still in furniture 
go watch I believe it was my first stuffing of the month where I went over what my budget is for this, but I am doing a $5,000 savings challenge for that fund to move out next year potentially. All right, medical. Medical started the month with 300 and is ending with 1, 2, 3, 10, and 20. 320 in medical, so it's positive 20. And we'll just put down two tens for 20 in medical. The math is really easy for me today. That's nice. Okay, pet care. Uh, pet care started with 100 and is ending with 15200. It's a positive 100 there. I'll just put down these 250s for a 100, and it still has 200. This is for a future pet, by the way travel let me just pull out these here because I can't remember exactly how I organized this but travel down here started with 500 trip has one two three four five hundred okay so that's where we are putting this five hundred dollar placeholder there stay is empty and then I think these two are both condensed yeah food has 250 and misc should have 250 as well already condensed so 500 in trip 250 in food and 250 in misc means we have one thousand dollars now in our travel fund which is so exciting so we doubled that this month you guys that's so cool all right that oh my gosh <laughs> It feels so much lighter and thinner now. And last but not least, we'll do our short term sinking funds binder. All right. Going back up here to adventures. It began the month with 75. And now we have 50, 75, 85. In there. It's a positive 10. And. We're just putting down these two fives for a 10 and 50, 70, 85. Still in adventures. Oops. Clothing. I think is right here. Yeah, 25. Now has 20, 40, 65. So it's a positive 40 in clothes. So putting all this down for a 10 and a 50. 50-65 in there. Giving, we pulled from earlier and now it has 60 in there when we started with 50 for the month. So it's a positive 10. Putting all those down for a 50 and a 10. And giving. And holidays has 55 and 60 which we started with 50 in there as well it's another positive 10 putting these two fives down for a 10 still means we have 60 in holidays all right household started i believe it's right here with zero it now has 10 in household and miscellaneous, let's see. Started with 50, it now has one, two, 50, 70, and 90. 290, which is a positive 240. In there this month. I believe that is fully condensed, yeah, so can't do anything there. And pamper. Started with 100 and has 152, 25, and 30, 230. Means we added a positive 130. We added more than that, but we spent out of it as well. And so we will put down these 250s for a 100 and two fives for a 10. So one, two, 20, 30 still in pamper so all right then 
one less space left here. I've got my Roth IRA, which I just consider never changing. It does fluctuate a bit, but we just don't count that as of right now. All right, first things first, before we go into adding everything up here, let's count the bills again and make sure we have the right amount. This should be now $1,575. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty-one thousand, fifty-one, fifty-two hundred, two fifty, seventy, ninety, three ten, thirty, fifty, seventy, ninety, four ten, fifty, seventy, eighty, five, ninety-five, five hundred, fifteen hundred, fifty 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 Eighty-seven, nine, ninety-one, three, four, and five. Uh, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, eight, 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 eight,
um, and an exciting one too. So, um, I mean, the recap is, wouldn't have been not exciting, but yeah, it was just a little, it was going to make the video definitely way too long and not like succinct enough. So anyways, that um, brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please give the video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you'd like to see more budgeting videos just like this, I do cash stuffings, unstuffings, um, end of the month um, exchanges, bill exchanges, and sinking funds updates, some random other content sometimes thrown in there. But yeah, anything budgeting, and with all that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and your week until I see you again. And I will see you guys later.